right, let's head to space now. Uh, and actually talk about quite the, the milestone, a pretty significant shift here. Mm -hmm. NOAA's GOES-19, the latest and final satellite in NOAA's GOES-R series, mm -hmm. officially began operations after launching last June. GOES, you hear us say that a lot. It stands for Geostationary Operational Environmental Satellite. It's a lot, but it's really cool. GOES-19 <laughs> will serve as NOAA's primary geostationary satellite. It's going to track hurricanes. It's going to track tropical storms in the Atlantic Ocean. I mean, if it weren't for these satellites, would we really know what's happening out in the basins? As well as very um, other various environmental events, including atmospheric rivers, wildfires, volcanic eruptions. It's like a buffet of activity, it's a right? Buffet. <laughs> yeah, and it's just getting started. We wanted this morning welcome in mm -hmm. NOAA goes our program scientist Dan Lindsay. Dan good morning to you thank you um some good news to share but i want to ask first before we get going any sort of complications or hiccups getting goes 19 operational because we know this has been yes a process that's taken years but it's been mm -hmm. orbiting earth for quite some time yeah so as you mentioned just a second ago goes 19 launched last mm -hmm. june 25th and so it's been on orbit, uh, you know, something like three quarters of a year. And during that time, uh, we've been doing a checkout of the spacecraft and all of the instruments. And it has been very, very smooth. Uh, really no problems with any of the instruments. Everything is working just as it should at this point. So we're really excited about that. And I want to ask you too, Dan, because we were supposed to launch earlier, or I guess get it operational before... Was it yesterday? I'm losing count of days. Yeah. And so we heard there was a little bit of a delay in a little bit of lapse because of the severe weather that we've been covering. In fact, things were kind of pushed back to yesterday when we were able to get GOES-19 online. That's correct, yeah. So originally the plan was to go operational on Friday and due to the severe weather, which you guys have been talking about, um, what happens is when it's, it's something called a critical weather day, that's when there's a lot of severe weather or uh, severe storms expected. And when that happens, sometimes they'll delay these sort of major changes in the observational network. And that's what happened with, with GOES-19. It was ready to go on Friday, but we decided to push it until Monday. So it ended up going operational yesterday morning as GOES East. I mean, uh, one of the crucial pieces, Marissa had said it, I mean, if we didn't have these satellites, would we even know what's going in, on in our respective basins? The satellite era has been revolutionary. And this goes R series now is 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 complete. It's 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 done. Dan, there's one I don't want to get too uh, lost on this on this um, I guess you could call it a rabbit mm -hmm. hole, down a rabbit hole. Mm -hmm. But one year ago today, we were mm -hmm. treated to a total solar eclipse. The moon yeah. moved right in front of the sun. It was quite the treat. Hopefully we have some video of it. I mean, it, it's been a year, but it still feels like it was just mm -hmm. yesterday for some of us. But space weather lovers, they called this solar eclipse nature's coronagraph. I have a point here because GOES-19 is an actual mm -hmm. coronagraph too. They have one on board there. So I think, do we, guys, do we have the picture of that? Uh, that picture of the sun goes 19 took it back in February Dan I'm sure you know what we're talking about it was this image um, it's one of the new toys the new tools that's on board goes 19 what else does it have so yeah goes 19 contains or it carries the same set of instrumentation as the other goes six goes 16 17 and 18 except for as you mentioned this very exciting new compact chronograph the way the chronograph works as you can see in this image it has a little piece in the center of its uh, in the center there and what that does is it it blocks out the sun in order to allow us to see much better the corona that's that area sort of that blue area that you're seeing there around the edge of the sun it basically simulates what the moon does during that a total solar eclipse that's the reason people love to be in the totality area of the total solar eclipse is so they can really see the corona stand out i love it and it's one of my favorite tools. I think it's one of the... Space I, Weather Prediction Center agreed. uses it. Yeah, yeah and the, the yeah, their Space Weather Prediction Center is going to get a lot of uh, assistance out of this. Before we leave you, because I noticed when I was looking into GOES-19, happy anniversary. 50 years of GOES satellites. <laughs> it's wild. The first one was launched. It was GOES-1. It was in October of 1975. And that's really what gave forecasters that first look over the basin, that ability to track tropical systems especially and be able to get better forecasts for when we could have impact to land. So we've completed the GOES-R series, as Stephen mentioned. We look forward. What is next? Because I saw there's already some work beginning that's already started on GOES-XO, right? XO? 
That's correct. Yeah. So the goes goes 18 and 19 will continue as in operations as goes east and west uh, into the 2030s. So they're going to be there for a while. But we have began begun work on the Geo Exo series. It stands for Geostationary Extended Observations. That's going to be launching in 2032. We're going to go from two goes to three goes, one more in the center, adding some new instrumentation and making some significant upgrades to some of those instruments, such as the imager um, that takes those pictures of the hurricanes. So something really to look forward to for the future. I mean, the, the work continues there at NOAA, and we, we love to celebrate mm -hmm. the milestones and, and look at the advancements. And I'll tell you what, without those satellites, um, especially even during the times of severe weather, it would not be... Uh, it would be a tool that's greatly mm -hmm. missed in, in a forecaster's arsenal. We appreciate mm -hmm. all the insight, and thank you so much. Congratulations, Dan, to you and your mm -hmm. team. Appreciate you chatting with us this morning. Dan Lindsay um, with mm -hmm. NOAA, thank you. Thank you so much. Right.